Welcome to Tsavo's Canine Rehab. We are here today to share an incredible story about Boulder, an eight-year-old uh, greater Swiss mountain dog who had neck surgery. And he has had an amazing recovery. We're here to share that story so that everyone out there who may be going through the same thing with their dog um, has a feeling that there are others out there that can help. We got him when he was just short of three months. We had seen photos of him and he was the cutest thing. Um, just small, we took him out right away. It was kisses galore. Um, it was an instant bond. He was such a sweet dog. There was a day that we had some friends come over with their puppy and they were playing and they were kind of just playing around in the grass and I noticed something different in him. His hind end would start to buckle underneath him and that was the first thing that made me think something's a little weird here. And then from that point to the two weeks that followed, it was just more of the drunken walk, what they call the drunken walk and the swaying. Um, but he, it was strange, but he was able to walk up until the day he went in for his MRI. When we brought him home after the MRI, uh, he wasn't mobile and I thought it was the anesthesia still waiting to wear off. And, uh, and then he, there was a moment where he got really anxious, crawled to the door. He had to go to the bathroom and he could he didn't make it. And so we took him right back to ER that night and he ended up spending the night. And that's when the doctor said, we recommend um, surgery the very next day. And he did, he had surgery the very next day. And 90% of them end up walking out of the hospital. They get up and they walk a few days after surgery. And unfortunately, Boulder was in that 10% that didn't. Um, so he was in the hospital for 10 days and um, he would, they would stand him up and he would hold with his hind legs, he would hold up for just a couple seconds, assisted, and then, collapse, and then right? he'd collapse. He couldn't walk, the most he was doing was crawling a little bit. Good boy. You know, we were so positive doing the surgery, we thought that he'd be within that 90% that would walk. Here he goes. So close, baby, you can do it. They said, you know, we definitely recommend physical therapy. We didn't know what was gonna happen. We were hoping for the best, but we really didn't know. We had never seen our dog not walk. Push, 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 push. Okay, you did it. Come you weren't seeing very very much of any change in the beginning. And even, even during the first week of rehab, it was uh, also a very slow progression in the first week. It was just trying to get everything up and moving again. He hadn't moved for 12 days. He had been in a cage. He was knuckling his, his front paws a lot. I mean, he was just dragging them. And then the day that he, he would, thank God for the harness that we had, because it had two handles and that helped him a lot. But as we were walking him out of the car, instead of dragging both front paws, he placed one paw and that was huge. That was like, he's gonna do this. Coming to see you was huge because you gave us that boost of confidence. You know, like my mom calls you Holder's guardian angel because you had no doubt from day one that he would walk again. And so that's, that definitely had a lot um, to do with, with the decision to keep going. Um, and knowing that he was just so short out from surgery, it was like we needed to give him a little bit more of a chance to recover um, before we made that call that the quality of life was being compromised. Each patient is very much an individual, um, just as with humans. Recoveries are different. It depends on the kid's age. It depends on are there any other concurrent medical conditions going on. The key is, is definitely a collaborative effort. Uh, you have your surgical team, you have your veterinarian, um, you have the, the compassion and, and the uh, confidence um, from the owner. That is huge. If you know your dog, you really got to dig deep and just look in his eyes and say, you know, are, are you done? Are you want to keep fighting? And I did that with him and, and I knew that he had fight left in him. After everything that we've been through and just seeing um, him not being able to walk, this is huge. We wanted to present this case to you today so that you all know out there that if you have some sort of a, a medical condition, physical, musculoskeletal condition with your dog, that there is hope. Uh, whether it's surgery is called for or not, um, there is uh, hope out there with rehab and intensive care to get your kid up and walking again. 
and there are people out there that have experienced what you've experienced. And you're not alone.